has found this spot right here. Looks like a good spot to set up a camp. Might come back up out here and do a uh, solo overnighter. I brought a couple different poles. I brought this little two and a half foot uh, Shakespeare pole. I uh, brought along my two hobo reels and then I've yet to test out my pen fishing pole that I got off a of wish. Here's the little rod and reel. Then in here I just have miscellaneous bait, hooks, sinkers, bamboo water cases, watertight cases. So we're going to put this together. Alright, this one extends to about the same size, a little bit bigger than this Shakespeare pole. Should be another piece for it. It's got a little groove in there. You slide this piece in. Put this one over the top. For some reason I'm thinking that goes over over top of it to hold it down. Or that's my thought on it. All right, then that piece comes down. It hooks into there. Then you take this piece, bring it down, and tighten it up. Black flies are out. Yep, then you just tighten that. Holds that into place. We'll string it up. So this ended up snagging in here pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to switch over to another fishing technique and I'll have to uh, fix this when I get back. Cause it is a mess. So these are good to have.
It's just neat how that tree fell over where it was growing right there on the bank. And it is actually growing laying down. So while I'm walking and fishing back here, I've seen something that looks kind of interesting. See it over there now? We're going to go check that out. So, I found this secret little pond back here. It's an old railroad uh, tunnel, I believe. I'm going to try out and see if there's any fish in here. I can see some little ones swimming around.
that strange echo. So this definitely has a good amount of water moving through it. 